everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new welcome back if you're not if you are a lover of all things beauty luxury fashion and handbags you've come to the right place my name is Cece and welcome. Today I have something super exciting to share with you guys. As some of you may know, I have started to jump on the Hermes journey. I will be honest, I was a little hesitant at first because I am not one for playing these Hermes games. I tend to be more of the mindset that if I see something and I like it and I want it, I'm going to just buy it. If I have the funds, I've worked hard throughout my entire career. I did not have any freebies, you know, both my husband and I work hard. That said, the Hermes journey does require, if some of you may or may not know, that you have a pre-spend or purchase history with them to show your loyalty to the brand before they will offer you a quota bag. And if you don't already know, there are two quota bags that are most known are the Birkin and the Kelly. I found an SA recently. My SA is a gentleman. And what I love about him is that he is very down to earth, very practical, very matter of fact. He's not going to play the game. He's not going to toy around with you. But I will say, I got a text message yesterday afternoon that I was not expecting. I was actually in between meetings, but he reached out suddenly. It was 3.17 p.m. and he said, hey, I just received something I think you will love. This is an item that I had mentioned to him I would be interested in Friday of the week prior. So not even a week before he reached out to me with this item. I had mentioned to him in passing over text. I said, if you happen to come across this item, please let me know. And of course, he reached out yesterday immediately. He had mentioned his availability. We made it work. I was done with work. He was there until closing. So I was able to get to the store just before closing. And I walked in. I had to wait for him a couple of minutes. You can see I have something here to share with you guys, a little unboxing. By the way, I felt like I had to do my hair today. I actually took the time to do my hair for this video. I walked in, there was another essay that greeted me and she asked me to have a seat until he came out. I just took the time to kind of browse, look around, look at some other items, start to add things to my wish list. He finally came out, he greeted me and he invited me to the back room, right? The room where they offer you a bag. And I almost died when I was in the back in that room. I was able to take a little bit of footage, which I will include for you guys. I know this back room is like a mystery to some. Um, he asked me if I wanted water, if I needed anything. I said, no, I, I declined. Um, I was, I was in such utter shock and amazement that I didn't want anything. <laughs> I was kind of like, let's get straight to business. And he did ask me, he's like, do you want to browse? Do you want to look at anything? I said, no, that's okay. I know you guys are closing soon. And I was trying to be very mindful of his time as well. I didn't want to keep him there close to closing and have him be delayed in leaving. I try to be very mindful of other people's time and courteous and show respect. So I said, no, you know, that's okay. I know you guys are closing soon. So let's get right to it. So that's when he invited me to the room. He came back in and I joked with him and I said, you know, I've heard a lot about this room. I've heard a lot about this room. I've seen it a couple of times in pictures. Wow. And he started laughing. He did offer me some tips. Why don't we get into the unboxing and then I'll share the tips with you after. We're waiting for this unboxing. We're wanting to see what's in here. But he did share some tips with me. So if you are thinking about joining the Hermes journey, or if you are currently on the Hermes journey, and have not yet been offered a quota bag, I think his tips will help us. Without further ado, here is the box. This is a true unboxing. I waited to unbox this with you guys on camera, so I have not unboxed this until now. I did see the item in store when he originally presented it to me, but I have not seen it since I got home. So I do have the receipt here. It does come in the little envelope, which I'll put in here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a few pictures for Instagram. You know I have to take some pictures. Just inspecting the ribbon a little more closely. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now that I've got my footage for Instagram, we're going to go ahead and unbox this little cutie. It comes in this small little box, so some of you may or may not have guessed it. I will say before this item, I had only purchased two other items with my SA, which was on the first day that I met him, which were, if you haven't already watched my unboxing, the Shipreys and the Orans. So I'd only made two purchases with him in store. Any other purchases I've made through Hermes, which were really only two, one of them was my bracelet 
my Click H bracelet, which I purchased online, and my White Orans, which I purchased online as well. This was all prior to meeting my SA, I want to say one or two years ago. I'm so honored that less than a week after I made this request, after purchasing those two items, he was able to make this offer to me. So let's go ahead, get right into it. I am loving and falling more and more in love with this orange box and their packaging. What I love about Hermes, and I know some of you had asked me some questions, so I'm going to answer them as well. But one of the things, because that's one of the questions that I got that I love about Hermes is it mends together, incorporates sophistication, elegance, and beauty along with a casual sportiness. You know Hermes is well known in the equestrian world. That's one of the things they're known for. They're very casual, but very elegant. So you have this beautiful box. I'm loving their orange. It's a perfect shade of orange. So funny. So I'm in the middle of this unboxing and May Leva from Mrs. Leva just sent me a text message and she said, good morning. How does it feel to be an Hermes leather good owner? Let's go ahead and continue our unboxing. And you've got this um, booklet here, which I will get into in just a minute. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dust bag. All right. And it is none other than the Eveline TPM in the color gold. So this is the mini Eveline in the Clemence leather. It is gorgeous. I mean, this leather quality, I just can't say enough good things. So he presented me with this bag in the color gold. And sure enough, he delivered. It is my first and only leather good piece with Hermes. So this will be a very special bag. In fact, my birthday is coming up. I'll be turning 41 this May. And because we were building our home, I didn't really have the chance to gift myself anything last year. During my birthday, I waited until the end of the year. So this will be a really nice gift to myself for my upcoming birthday. And again, my first leather good piece from Hermes. So I'm just going to remove the bubble inside. And oh my gosh, such a gorgeous piece. I mean, this leather, the smell alone and the white stitching. I'm just going to hold it up for you guys there. And then that's the bottom. You've got the sides. So it's very smushy, very moldable. It's going to be very casual and easy to wear. It is with silver hardware. Now, at first, I was a little more biased and wanted the gold hardware, although I mistakenly did not specify that to my SA. I just specified the size, the bag, and the color of the leather, and he delivered. But now that I see it more and more, I'm actually quite happy that I got the silver hardware because it makes it a little more casual. It is really a casual piece. I also like to mix my metals. If you can't tell, you know, my wedding band is in white gold, but I do tend to wear a lot of gold jewelry and my Hermes Click H is actually in rose gold. So I do like to mix my metals. So I'm actually very happy that I got this in the silver. The inside is pretty plain Jane. There's not much there no pocket or anything, no zipper. It just kind of lives open like that. And you've got that one button that closes. Now, my SA did explain that the bag is actually meant to be worn with the H towards your body. So hidden. So like so. Nobody wears it like that. Everyone wears it this way. So the button actually closes shut on the opposite side of how you want to wear it, right? Uh, which is okay. Not a big deal for me. I like that it's an easy bag. I like that it's casual. I like that it's perfect for every day. In fact, I'm thinking of switching my bags out. I'm currently wearing my Loro Piana. So I'm thinking of switching it out to this bag so I can start to wear this bag. The strap is non-adjustable. It is a nice, thick, you know, cloth strap, which is very comfortable to wear. You do have the leather detail there at the end. And then some stickers on the hardware, which I'm going to remove with you guys. Oh, looks like it's hard to come off. I wonder if there it is. Okay, now it's gone. And here is the other. And I need to remove the stickers so that I can 
replace the strap on the bag because the sticker blocks the part of the hardware that allows you to um, clamp the strap onto the bag. And I like that these turn so you can swivel them so you're not stuck figuring out the way that strap has to be put on. If you have it on backwards, you can always just swivel it around and it's not a big deal. And that is the strap on the bag. And I'm just gonna put it on for you guys. I love how this bag looks on. Again, super casual, very much my style. You know, as you know, I'm a mom, so I like to be hands-free. I like to have a casual option. And if you haven't already done your color analysis, I know I've talked about this on my broadcast channel and on Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you don't already. The color analysis is helpful because it confirms which colors look best on you, which hardware looks best on you, jewelry, nail color, makeup, hair color, everything. And I got Warm Autumn, so this color is actually going to be perfect for my skin tone. I actually love the way this color looks. This is the classic Hermes like toffee caramel brown, which is such a gorgeous color. I'm so happy with this bag, guys. I'm so thrilled. Comment down below. Did you expect this piece? What do you think of this piece? Let me know. It does have the Hermes made in France there on the strap. So cute. Only on the one side. It does not have it on the other side. So it's only on one side of the strap and on the one uh, corner which is really pretty. So it confirms that the strap is from Hermes. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this bag. I can't wait to style it. Stay tuned again for Mod Shots. I'm very happy with the silver hardware. Looking at it a little bit closer, it does say Hermes on the hardware as well. I love the white stitching. The Clemence leather is gorgeous. From what my essay shared, it's very similar to Togo, but the Clemence is a little bit softer, more supple, and more smushy, which I like for this bag. This is perfect for the Eveline because it's going to be a casual, everyday, easy, functional bag for me. Inside is like, I'll just show another close up of the inside for you guys. So you've got that gorgeous tan caramel kind of color. Oh, it's so pretty. And then just that one button closure. So it's a snap button. But I'll probably kind of leave it open and just let it flap like that since it's going to be towards me anyway. And that way I can get in and out of the bag very easily. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Let me know what you guys think. Do you own this bag? If you do, how has it worn over time? What do you think of it? Do you still love it? What size do you have it in? Heard that the TPM is a highly sought after and hard to find size. So I was truly amazed that my essay was able to for me in less than a week. So let me get into the specifics about the advice that he shared. This is uncharted waters for me. It's very new. Oh, the really quick. This is just the booklet. So we've got the Hermes logo there. And then... the hair booklet and I did pick up something else so stay tuned for that and it really is my last purchase before truly investing my time and money into this Hermes journey. You know that I get distracted very easily. I like to have a wide variety of different brands and items in my collection. There were a couple of pieces that I wanted to include in my collection before jumping on this Hermes journey and fully dedicating myself. Let's go into the advice that my essay shared. So a couple of things my essay said to me when we were in the room. I was so thrilled. I'm just going to hold her because I just love her so much. I think I might have made a comment of like, oh, it's in the silver hardware instead of the gold hardware, no big deal. And his response to me was, be open minded. And you know what? Now that I have it in silver, I'm actually happier that I got it in silver than the gold. I think it's going to go really well with my mixed metals and my collection. Um, I actually have a Cartier watch that I wear casually. It's the Cartier tank watch, which is in silver. So it'll pair perfectly. Today, I'm actually wearing my watch from Lola Rose, which I'll include down below in the description box, along with my discount code. If you are interested in getting one, I absolutely love this watch as my everyday watch. It's a very thin leather strap band. 
and the base is actually um, rose gold. So it actually pairs really well with my Hermes Click 8. One is be patient. So immediately after he presented me with this bag, I jokingly said to him, oh my gosh, does this mean that I can actually have a Birkin one day? And he joked or he laughed and he said, of course you can. There's a lot of essays out there that are conditioned to say no. And I don't know why they do that. What he mentioned was, I've seen essays and I've heard essays even mention about the Eveline TPM and telling clients they'd have to wait in order to get one of these because they're so hard to find, which is not true. I don't know why they say that. Some essays are just conditioned to say no to get you to play the game a little bit more. I don't know why. I'm just sharing information that I think we can share openly. Anything is possible. Be flexible, be open-minded. The item may come in and it may not be in the exact hardware you want or the exact color that you want, but if you're open-minded, you're more likely to get an offer sooner rather than later. He also mentioned to be patient, right? Of course, we know that Birkins and Kelly's are highly sought after items, but as you can see, he came through with the Eveline TPM, which I've read that they may or may not be discontinuing. I've read that it's hard to get. I've seen them on the pre-loved market uh, go for much higher than what they're actually retailing for. And he came through in less than a week. So I have faith in him. He also mentioned to diversify your collection. I think this is something that we know amongst YouTube. We've all heard other YouTubers and influencers talk about this, especially those that own an Hermes piece. The importance of diversifying your spend history, your pre-spend, your admiration and love for the brand. So he had shared with me, you know, you've already bought two pairs of shoes. You've got a leather item, maybe look at a few other pieces. He hinted a little bit at watches and fine jewelry, maybe some of their fashion jewelry. I think he was alluding more towards the fine jewelry ready to wear. And I don't think that there is an exact item you can purchase that will guarantee you will be offered a quota bag. He did share with me that there is going to be an option releasing at the end of this month for watch lovers where you can actually go on the website and customize the watch. You can sort of build the watch that you want. I think the price point is very, very high. Unfortunately, I don't think that that's within my budget, but if it is within your budget and it is something that you're interested in, that may increase your chances of being offered a quota bag. I believe the rubber band version of the watch retails for around $11,000. From what he tells me, this has not been released yet, but will be released at the end of this month as we are in April, 2024. And again, you can customize the watch and build the specifics right in the Hermes website from the comfort of your own home. It's made to order. I believe it takes about three months for the item to be made based on your customizations and then either sent to you or sent to your store. That feature hasn't been released on their website yet, but I will be keeping an eye out for it because I'm very interested in seeing if there is a customizable option that retails below $10,000. If so, I may be interested, maybe, maybe not, I tend to really love the Cartier tank watch, which I own. I've thought about the Cartier Panthere watch. I've thought about incorporating maybe a Rolex. I know the gold Cartier watch is very expensive, but I've thought about that watch as well. So if I am going to splurge on a high ticket item watch, it's probably going to be that one. Let me know your thoughts. Would you guys splurge on an Hermes watch or not? I do like the H regular watch with the leather strap band, similar to what I'm wearing now. I would probably opt for something like that. I think that that's nice, but I'd have to experiment and look on their website a little bit more. Continue to have that relationship. He also mentioned, you know, just continue to be loyal and have that relationship. Come into the store. The more you build that history and relationship, and this is something that we all know, the more likely you are to be offered your quota bag, which I plan to do. I think that this just kind of further strengthens our relationship that I will be seriously taking on this journey and I will be sharing every aspect and part of it with you. If you have any specific questions regarding this journey, questions you would like me to ask, questions you want me to dig into a little bit further within reason, of course, 
definitely include them down below. I do need to be mindful of the types of questions I'm asking. I don't want to be too overly direct and come off as rude or inappropriate. So as long as they are, you know, appropriate, I will do my best to get all the information and share all the goods with you. I want to really uncrack this code. Biggest takeaway I've learned from this journey and from purchasing this piece and my experience with my essay yesterday is that if you believe it, it is possible. Nothing is impossible. I think some essays are better than others. Some essays are more conditioned to say no than others. You want to find an essay that is willing to work with you and not going to be conditioned to say no just for the sake of saying no. Someone who's going to support your journey, help you on pieces and items and purchases that you want. You definitely want to diversify. So I've started to look at a couple of scarves, maybe some beauty, as well as some fashion jewelry. I might venture into their high-end jewelry, but I'm not sure yet. I need to do things that are obviously within my budget. If you've purchased any of their jewelry pieces, comment down below. What do you think of them? What would you recommend? What should be my next purchase? If you have any recommendations on items that you think might be more likely to get me a quota bag, I'm curious to know as well if you've had luck with that please share with the rest of our community so we can all learn. I think we're all kind of slowly uncovering the mystery that is Hermes. That said, I do know that Hermes has been on the forefront of legal recently. I think two people recently sued Hermes for being pressured or almost coaxed into purchasing other consumer goods that are either not necessary, that they don't want, that they don't like in order to get the item that they do want or like. I don't know where things are with that, but I'm going to start to follow it more closely. I wonder if that will change the Hermes game in any way. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you think that that will change the Hermes way, what could that mean for those of us that are jumping on this journey now? Do you think we'll, we'll be more likely to be offered a quota bag sooner rather than later? And, and why? I personally don't. I think that that is one of the things that attracts consumers to Hermes is the fact that it is so quiet luxury and it is a sort of almost manipulative game. I don't want to use the word manipulative. One of the things he said to me was, get whatever you like, get things that you like. And I love my Evelyn so much. I'm so happy with this little bag. I can't wait to style her. I think she's going to be such a cutie. In fact, I'm going to wear her today. I think she pairs perfectly with my outfit today, the caramel browns that I'm wearing. This is going to be such a perfect bag. I'm so excited. And I love the Clemence leather. Um, we um, also talked a little bit about the quota bag. And I know I'm kind of jumping around all over the place. Bear with me. It's the excitement. But we did talk a little bit about the quota bag. I asked if I could try one on in store. Unfortunately, they don't let you try them on in store. Store, but I am thinking of making my way to a pre-loved store nearby, either like the Real Real or something of that sort, where I could try a pre-loved Birkin or Kelly on in person. But I think I've got my color combination down. I think where I'm kind of unsure is the hardware and the size, believe it or not. So I'm thinking of going with the Birkin in Toko leather in the color gold. I'm debating between the 25 or the 30. I've watched a couple of other YouTubers and while I love the size of the 25, I don't like the drop length between the handle and the crook of your arm and the bag itself. There's not enough space for you to put your arm in comfortably and let it kind of dangle appropriately as it should. You can get your arm in it, don't get me wrong, but I think for me it would be a little uncomfortable. For that reason, I'm debating on going with the 30. And I love the gold with the gold hardware, but I'm actually open to the palladium, especially now that I have this in the silver hardware. I do have a lot of bags with gold hardware, so I do kind of like to switch it up. But let me know what you guys think. Since I got this in the silver hardware, maybe I should do the Birkin gold color with the gold hardware in a size 30. Although would it look, look too big in that color or too mature? I don't know. This is definitely going to be a lifelong bag. It's going to be a bag I'm going to wear for many years to come. So I'm looking to incorporate a bag that will be stylish for me today and will be stylish for me 20 years from now. For that reason, I think the 30 is more practical for me. I can fit more in it. For me, in my mind, it's like the more classic size. It's a little bit bigger. I'm curious to know what size... Miss Birkin wore herself. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to Google it. I want to know what was the first size Birkin ever created? What is the true original Birkin size? Is it the 30? I have a feeling it's the 30. 
So let's see. I'm going to see if I can look that up for you. I'll include the information here for you guys. Curious to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more. Share it with someone who you know will love it. And follow me on Instagram where I post daily. Until next time, bye.